we use a globe model for initial learning of percutaneous calyx puncture without radiation exposure using Chinese shadows. This model can be used in classroom or even at home. We use a square piece of foam with a circle cut in the middle. A slit is cut in one of the sides. A latex surgical glove is inflated with air. Then it is inserted through the lateral cut in the foam. Thus the fingers will be in the central empty cylinder. The foam is put on retro projector. The finger's shadow is projected on the wall. The fingers are erect but flexible. The puncture needle is used through the lateral wall of the foam. The tip of the fingers are used as calyx. The sign of the puncture is to push the finger's tip till the, it becomes concave. The beam of light is horizontal so it gives orientation in the frontal plane. The orientation in the transversal plane is not possible in this model. Orientation in the frontal plane. To locate the finger, the needle is moved from down to up in the transversal plane until the finger moves. Then the puncture is performed. All the fingers can be used for puncture. The limitations of this model are the projected image is inverted and the rail puncture insertion of guide wire are impossible. To solve the problem of the inverted projection, the foam is covered with a paper. Thus, the shadows are projected on the paper without inversion. The same technique of puncture can be used with all the fingers, as before. Any other source of light can be used like data shop projector. This model is not very realistic. However, it is a cheap and easily set up model. It can be very useful to become familiar with the initial manipulation of the needle and its different orientation without the stress of radiation exposure. <laughs>